Hey, 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 awesome people. Welcome back to our Fraction series. I'm Mr. C. Thanks so much for tuning in. We are continuing with fractions. It is a huge, huge concept and unit that we are doing, but it's so critically important for everything that we do in math. So with that being said, make sure if this video helps you at all, if you learned anything new, click the like button, click the subscribe to Math with Mr. C. I would sincerely appreciate it. So. This video is building off of some of our previous third grade learning standards. This one is going to be just example problems for number lines and partitioning. Okay, This one is just going to be us doing some practice problems. So if you're looking to an intro on how to use a number line and how to partition fractions on a number line, check out the previous video. I put it in the description below. That'll help you understand what we're doing, and that way this video will make more sense to you. Also in the description below are other third grade fractions videos and second grade as well, where we talked about halves and thirds and fourths. All of those are really important. Fractions really does build upon itself, so check those out if you haven't all ready. Like I said, this video is just going to be some practice problems where we partition some fractions on number lines. Thanks for being here. Let's get started. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I have two different number lines. I've got a black number line on the left side of the screen, and on the right side, I've got our green number line. Here are two example problems that we are going to do. Again, if you have not watched the uh, explanation the teaching of this partitioning on number lines make sure you watch it it's in the description below this is just going to be some example problems so before we get started I say it every single video make sure you have the correct mindset you need a growth mindset to be successful in math don't be afraid of making mistakes don't be embarrassed of making mistakes own them be proud of it figure out where you made it and then get the next one correct it's gonna happen all the time be okay with mistakes use them to get better so here's two problems feel free to pause the video and try these on your own I'm gonna jump into this one on the left the one fourth so I've got my number line and it is broken up between zero and one okay zero and one with that being said First thing I need to do is look at my fraction. And what do y'all see as the denominator? Which of those numbers is the denominator? The four. The four is the denominator. So because of that, that tells us how many equal sections we need to break this number line into. We need to have four equal sections. So let me break it into four equal sections. There's one, two, three, four. All right, so does anybody remember what this fraction right here would be? What would this fraction be? It would be zero over four. Always remember that, okay? That's gonna be zero fourths. What is this fraction over here gonna be? Well, let's hold on, let's get to it. So we have zero fourths, we're gonna go one section over, so zero fourths, one section over is gonna give us one fourth. Let's go over one more section, so we did zero fourths, one fourth, two fourths, good. So let's start over, zero fourths, one fourth, two fourths, what's gonna go here? Yep, y'all got it right. Three fourths, very good. Zero fourths, one fourth, two fourths, three fourths. Ooh man, what's gonna be over here? What's this fraction? Remember, this fraction is gonna be four fourths. That is equal to one whole. Very, very good. All right, looking at this number line, do you see one fourth anywhere? Do you see one fourth? Have we partitioned this into four equal groups one two three four and we're looking for one fourth one out of four of the groups here it is and there is our first answer one fourth take a look and see did you get this one correct did you make a mistake if you did that is okay 
Redo this one if you need to. All right, we're ready for the second one. So we've got two thirds. How many sections are we going to partition this number line into? How many equal sections are we gonna partition this number line into? We'll look at the denominator. That is three, so that's how many equal sections we need. Here is one section, two sections, and I bet you already know where the third section is, but I'm gonna hold off on it. So here we go, let's label all of these. This is gonna be zero thirds. What's this one gonna be? Zero thirds, we go over one. That's gonna be one third. So zero thirds, one third. What's gonna be here? Yep, two thirds, very good. Zero thirds, one third, two thirds. This is always can be the tricky one. This is one where I usually make a mistake at. What's this one gonna be? Three thirds, very good, okay? The denominator tells us how many equal sections we are partitioning this into, are dividing it into one, two, three. Notice they are equal sizes, equal sizes. All right, now we're looking for two thirds. Do we have two thirds on the screen? Do you see two thirds? There it is right there. I'll put my dot nice and big. Two thirds would be right here on the number line. Excellent work on that one. I've got two more for you. One of them that's gonna be really familiar and then I've got one more challenge for you on this. So try these again if you need to. Make up your own. Let's do two more. All right, got two more up here on the screen. The black one will be one of the ones that we've kind of practiced. The blue one is going to be our challenge problem. Let's take a look at one fifth. First, pause the video, try this one on your own, then I'm gonna jump into it, so click pause. All right, so let's solve one-fifth. How many equal sections are we going to partition this into? How many equal sections? Well, take a look, what's our denominator? That says five, so we need five equal sections. Let's see how I can do here. Two, three, four, all right, let me see. So let's break this up, let's label them. Remember, we've got zero, we've got one, that's our number line from zero to one. I forgot to label that, excuse me. Let me get the other one too. My bad, my bad, thanks for being understanding, y'all. Y'all are great. So like I said, we're back at it. Right here is going to be zero fifths. What's this first section gonna be? One fifth, so you went zero fifths, one fifth, two fifths. Very good. What's going to be next? Zero fifth, one fifth, two fifths. Right here, three fifths. Very good. Zero fifths, one fifth, two fifths, three fifths. What goes here? Four fifths. Excellent. And this is the challenge right here at the end. What's this one going to be? Zero fifths, one fifth, two fifths, three fifths, four fifths. Yep, that's going to be five-fifths. That's kind of weird to say, but five-fifths is it. All right, do you see one-fifth on the screen? Where is it at? Make sure you put your point there. There's my point right there for one-fifth. Notice, denominator was five. We have one, two, three, four, five equal sections. We put our point at one-fifth to represent one-fifth. Very good. Okay, so now I've got a challenge for you. Take a look at three-eighths here. See if you can try this one on your own, and then I'm going to go through it. So pause me if you haven't already. Try three-eighths. So as we've done in all of our previous problems, we're looking at this fraction. We've got our number line from zero to one, and we need to take a look at our denominator and break this up based on that denominator. So how many equal sections do we need? Eight, eight equal sections. So that's gonna be pretty small. Let's see if I can do it. All right. So, let's label all of these. I should have changed colors on that, my bad. See if I can do that real quick. Make it stand out a little bit more. There we go, it's a little bit better. All right, so right here we're gonna have zero eighths. 
And I can label every single one of these if we wanted to, but some of y'all are probably getting pretty good at it. Okay, so if this is 0 eighths, what's the one for one whole gonna be? Do you know? It's gonna be 8 eighths. Okay, and I can go in and label every single one of these, but I have a feeling that some of y'all are getting kind of good at this. You're kind of like, you know what, Mr. C, I'm ready to challenge myself. Let, let's do it. If that's the case, can you figure out where 3 eighths is and label that and put your point? Can you figure out where 3 eighths is and label that and put your point? I bet you can. Let me show you how I would do it. I start at 0 eighths. I'm, I need to get to 3 eighths. So here we are at 0 eighths. 1 eighth. 2 eighths. 3 eighths. It's going to be right here, ladies and gentlemen. Right here. Let me show you again. I'm looking for 3 eighths. I start at 0 eighths. 1 eighth. 2 eighths. 3 eighths. Boom. And that's why I've put my point right there to represent 3 eighths. Eights. Notice, I can label this one as 4 eighths and 5 eighths and 6 eighths and 7 eighths. You can do that, but once you kind of get in the habit of it, your teachers may be like, hey, if you can find the point, that's great. And again, it's all about not being like quick at this or not trying to find like these shortcuts or anything. It's about understanding it. And the more that you practice it, the easier this is going to get. So what I challenge you to do is get out a notebook, get a whiteboard, get a napkin, get something, and practice some on your own. Practice some on your own. Just write down a fraction. See if you can draw it on a number line. Ask somebody to give you a fraction. Okay. The more you practice, the better and easier it's going to get. Okay. Thanks so much for tuning in to this number line partitioning. As always, we are continuing in this math journey to make math understandable and challenging. Thanks for tuning in. If you learned anything, drop me a comment. Click the like button if you learned anything at all. And if you want to, I would love to have you subscribe to Math with Mr. C. That is all I have for you today. Mr. C, out.